Hello friends, it's me Chinwin Coder. This is the 11th chapter in the JavaFX 3D development tutorial series and in this video we will talk about bump maps. So let me start by introducing a bump map concept to you. So the bump map as you can see here, bump mapping is a technique in computer graphics for simulating bumps and wrinkles on the surface of the object. So the idea is objects are rarely smooth in their surface. As you can see here, you can give wrinkles for objects using bump mapping. So you can see a, a smooth object here and after applying a bump map like this, it will become like this. So in JavaFX, you can easily apply bump map as an image. So let me show you the real world example here. So if you look at this earth that we will see later in this tutorial, you can see that in the land section there is some sort of bumps so you can see that there is bump the uh, bump in other places i mean bumps allows us to add some extra details to object so in this tutorial we will see how to add a bump map to your, or how to add bumps for your object so uh, this code is where we stopped in the last tutorial in the last tutorial we talked about self illumination and in this video, we'll continue with bump maps. So for preparing this chapter, we just have to add the previous slides that we have. We just have to remove the zero light and add the previous slides. For now, I'm not going to add an ambient light. I am just adding the uh, point light. And here, I don't need self-illumination right now because we are not talking about self-illumination. <laughs> And if I run this program right now, you will see a wooden texture with a moving light, just like this. And the thing is, when the light goes below the surface, you, you will see that it, it, it is simply empty, it is simply dark. But if we give some sort of wrinkles, we can get some extra details. So I'm going to give this image for the bump map. And here we can set the bump map. So in the set methods we talked about bump map uh, self illumination maps spe specular diffuse etc and the only remaining thing here is bump map so let's see how we can give it like so i can pass an image and for the image first i am going to give this illuminati.jpg so let me just give that one illuminati.jpg and now let us run the program and see the difference so as you can see when the light goes away you will get some sort of refraction or some extra effects on the surface because of the bumps so as you have seen in the earth thing it is used to give this extra details like wrinkles and all and as you can see here we are getting some extra details in the object let me just yeah because it is not smooth and some part reflects some extra light and that is causing the these effects okay guys that's the end of this video and in the next video we'll talk more about java fx 3d and as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos